Hello, I'm going to try and show you how to combine two portrait mode photos together and create a superimposed version that can still be recognized by Facebook as a 3D photo. So I have here a portrait mode photograph of some leaves uh, in the street behind my house. I have here a portrait of my wife standing on the deck. I'm going to my depth cam app and click on media here. I pick the first photo of my wife and it shows me here both what she looks like in 3D as well as the grayscale version which is the depth map. So in the bottom right, I click on the down arrow and I save depth map. Now I'm going to load another photo. So try the camera icon on the top right, cancel. And click on the double uh, icon on the bottom left and choose another one, the scene. And here it again shows me in grayscale what has depth. As you can see here, the darkest gray, which is the leaf on the top center, that's the one that's supposed to be closest to you. And things that recede further in the distance are lighter and lighter gray. The background is mostly white, so that's all plain. But that's in the furthest away from you. So I'm going to save this also as a depth map. Now I'm going to exit depth cam and show you my camera roll. Here you can see that those two scenes are there as well as we have the grayscale uh, equivalents for both those scenes. So now I'm going to open up my app Superimpose X and I'm going to first load the background photograph, which is from the photos I pick on the scene here and click choose. So I have imported that. Now with layers selected, I'm clicking on plus. I click on photo layer and I choose the photo of my wife and click choose again. What I want to do is I want to actually uh, bring her down a little bit. So I'm going to transform and position her somewhere in the bottom like that, where I think it will look good. At the same time, the hand cutoff is not noticeable on the right, so I'll keep it here. And I'm going now to another option in superimpose x called mask and the mask tool i'm going to choose is this magic lasso which is the top left and i'm going to just trace the outline of my wife so here you can see on the top left corner it's magnified showing uh, the area that's being captured i'm doing this on my phone Normally, I would do editing on my iPad, but uh, here it's being done on the phone. And so here you can see I've closed the loop and I click check. So now I have a picture of my wife standing in front of that scenery in the background. Now what I'm going to do is go to layers and I'm going to add a layer, photo layer. I'm going to pick the grayscale background that I had and bring that also choose. And when I bring it here, I'll click on transform fit to base. So this is zoomed in to match exactly what the leaves had. I'm going to layer, add layer, photo layer. I'm going to get her grayscale uh, 
mask the depth map that was imported and again choose that and import that into superimpose X. I'm going to uh, layer. I'm actually going to bring my wife's photo one layer up so I can see it in the background. I'm going to the top layer, select the sh shadow mask. I'm going to transform, blend and reduce the opacity a little bit so I can see where the previous layer is below. And then I'm going to transform and slide it so that it kind of matches the same position as the layer below. Once I've got that done, I click on layers and the mask layer is on top. So I'm going to mask clip up. What that did was it actually um, from the layer below, it uh, took the outline of what I had cut out on the layer below and applied that to my wife's photo here. So if I go to transform, blend and make the opacity 100%, you can see that uh, it's just a dark outline of her in front. So now I'm going to slide the layer back so that I have her depth map located in front of the depth map of the background scene and I'm going to click her uh, face which is on top and merge down. So I've created a combined depth map and with this photo I'm going to export it as a JPEG high quality and save. So I've saved that. Next I'm going to maybe move this layer to the bottom and again choose my wife's photo and click on merge down. So I've got a combined layer of her in front of the scenery and I'm going to click on blended image JPEG high quality and save it. So now I can exit superimpose X and if I look at my camera roll you will see that there are two new images one is a depth map of her in front of the leaves and the other is a photo of her combined in front of the leaves. So now I'm going to open up depth cam once again and I'm going to click on I think the icon in the bottom here and choose her photo, the combined version and I'm going to click on import depth map and import depth map again I choose, I go to the camera roll and camera roll, I choose the combined depth map. Once I've got these two uh, loaded together, I click on the down arrow on the bottom right and say save Facebook 3D photo. The photo is saved. So now I can open up Facebook. What's on your mind? 3D photo. And here you can see that Facebook has actually recognized this as combined version as a 3D photo. And so that's what you need to do. The secret is combine, separating the depth map and combining them and then uh, merging them back together using the depth cam application. Thank you very much for watching.